today we're taking a look at the Chase Elliott Hooters 2022 Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 NASCAR Next Gen Kit from Savino's JR Models. 124 scale full detail kit. This is the next of the Next Gen Kits for the Camaro to be released. Just got released uh, within the last couple of weeks. And it is today's What's in the Box. And getting started with the body, as you can see, it is molded in white. Now we're going to take a look at parts of tree F, which is going to be the hood and low down for spoiler. And onto the low down for spoiler, which is molded solid in the kit, but in the real car it had the top piece is Lexan, clear Lexan, and the bottom piece is solid, usually painted black. Getting started now with parts tree B, which is the, going to be the uh, underside plate parts tree. Taking a look at the underside plate with, with the rear diffuser. I have the instrument cluster. Right here you have the fuel filler. In this area the roll cage sits and you're going to want to paint the floor the same color as the roll cage chassis gray. Up here in the top left you have the two-piece air box, radiator air box, air box, the second part underside of the air box, this, over here you have the seat which is going to be two pieces, I have the headrest here, ducting piece that goes from the radiator box to the cold air box. Now moving on to parts tree C. We're gonna get started up here in the top left corner. In this corner we have the leg rest, oil pan, pedals, radiator, window nets, the window net and the A pillar net, back side of the radiator, uh, prop shaft, rear wheel well pieces. Down here in the lower left you have two-piece uh, vents that push the push the air out to the hood, pedal box, inner bracing, top of the engine. Over here we have the BBS wheels, which are two-piece. Now we're going to focus on the tires, which will be a set of Goodyear Eagle race slicks. And as you can see, they'll probably need a little bit of sanding. Now we're taking a look at parts tree A, which is suspension and engine parts. Start up here in this corner. It has some suspension pieces. And those are going to be the rear bumper bracing, front bumper bracing, rear spindles, upper and lower control arms for the rear suspension. Over here we have the dampers. Uh, bell housing with the starter, uh, radiator hoses up on the top, uh, front suspension control arms, upper and lower, uh, front spindle, the coil packs, and we have valve covers, the headers, the engine blocks, the front accessory, uh, front plate piece, the, the intake, the other front spindle, uh, some wiring. And moving on to parts tree G, which is going to be more suspension pieces and roll cage pieces. Up in this corner we have the two-piece transaxle transmission, end of the exhaust headers, pulleys, the brakes, which have really nice detail. Looks good. Another one of the pulleys, belts, 
Here we have the rear bumper, steering shaft, half shafts, tie rod, steering assembly, the inner uh, steering shaft, steering column, gear shift lever, front part of the transaxle. Here we have the headers, steering wheel, we have the front bumper, and the frame of the roll cage which you're going to build onto that. Now we're going to take a look at parts tree D, which is basically going to be for the roll cage front and rear clip pieces. And it's molded in white, as you can see. Starting in this corner, you have the uh, rear roll bars, which attach to the interior bulkhead, and then the rear clip attaches to that. And we have the rear package tray shelf, which covers the rear clip. Down here we have the rear clip, left and right sides, bottom, and the top part of the fuel cell. Here we have the uh, interior bulkhead, the rear part. That's the interior side. I believe that might be a battery, I'm not sure. I think that's the communications uh, equipment for maybe the in-car camera system, I believe. Not 100% sure, don't quote me. Now here we have the firewall, second piece for the you know, package tray, and the end of the rear clip, the end piece. Now we're taking a look at parts tree E, which is basically more uh, roll cage parts. Up in this corner we have the top part of the roll cage, uh, hanging on by a thread. Just the, the top side roll bars. Next to it is going to be the driver's side roll bar padding. Over here, here we have the left and right side roll bars with the extrusion panels, the door roll bars, a crossbar, a vertical bar. Down here we have the tunnel, prop shaft tunnel. Of the crossbar. Over here we have the left and right side of the front clip. Over here we have a roll bar, another roll bar, rear view mirror. I believe that was going to be the electronic rear view mirror. A crossbar piece for the front clip. The uh, lower piece of the front clip. The cool air box. Suppre fire suppression bottles. ECU, and now we're going to take a look at the clear parts tree. So here we have the front and rear windows with the vents cut out in both of them. Here we have the, the two-piece shark fin. It's nice that they did it as a two-piece compared to like Ravel did it as a one-piece. Here we have the rear quarter, the side quarter windows, the side windows, uh, a pillar window basically. Just we'll just call it. Here we have the passenger side window, used at all tracks. And here we have the high down floor spoiler, which they did mold in clear, so you can paint the bottom side, the solid side, a color. It's used at. Daytona, Talladega, and Atlanta. Now we're going to take a look at the decals that are going to start with what I call like the detail decal sheet, which has the front grille, the grills, the headlights, you have BBS wheel decals, uh, ZL1 hood decals, you have the side skirt decals, tail light decals, choice of white or black wording, Camaro wording decals, uh, window trim decals, a grill decal. Hood pins, camera pod decals there. And now on to the main decal sheet, which you can see is nice and colorful. Uh, you just need to paint the body orange, and the decals will take care of the rest. See on the roof decal here, they have all the openings cut out for the camera pod, radio antenna, uh, transponder antennas, T 
TV antennas, uh, the rear view mirror camera pod cut out, and they're all cut out for you, so it'll be much easier to apply that roof decal. Something new uh, on the sheet here, uh, you have the uh, passenger side window uh, locking mechanism, the locking buttons, the push buttons there. Uh, this is new, I don't think they have been on any of the uh, other kits released so far, so hopefully this will be included on the kits within on the decal sheets moving forward. So that, my friends, is going to do it for this look at the Chase Elliott Hooters 2022 Chevrolet Camaro Z01 NASCAR Next Gen Kit from Savino's JR Models. Take a look at the decal placement guide. Don't forget, you can get yourself some color match paint for the NASCAR kits from Salvino's JR Models from Jameson at Scale Finishes. Don't forget to use Pedians 10 at checkout to save yourself 10% off your order. So, on that note, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.